Okay, back for 15:30, and <clears throat> we have the uh, we have the battle kind of really taking its course now, where we have the fighting with the tanks and the British left flank, the Italians desperately trying to push forward to move off the board, counterattack by the British over here as well as other units in the background um, using bombardment to try to slow up the, the Italians over here and they're countering with these units but it's getting close to time that these bombarding units need to uh, start getting moving as well if they're going to get off the board. We do have a couple assaults still going on. This one over here with the tanks. Uh, the two Panzers um, Panzer II, I believe, and a Panzer III um, platoons are attacking this dugout position. They have uh, they had demoralized the heavy machine gun. Um, they had knocked out a step of it already uh, until British two British platoons jumped in with the captain to uh, try to save the day over there. Then we had one British platoon attacking. A motorcycle company uh, went horribly wrong for them. They were reduced and then demoralized. Uh, the um, Italians tried to counterattack to finish them off, but they in turn were disrupted. So we come back to 1630, and that's where we are. So, uh, initiative first. Um, now, with all the step losses that occurred for the British over the past few turns, their initiative has dropped to a one, and the um, German Italians have stayed at a four. So, the base is a four for the Italians and Germans, one for the British. So, four plus four is eight. Three plus one is four. Difference of four divided by two is two. So, there's two. Um, two activations for the Germans and Italians before the British can move. So this could be very, very useful. Um, so a couple things to figure out what we want to do here. We could have the come in, could have them come in. Um, let's just take a look at some numbers here. The Germans already have 12 factors in there. Um, they could get a 5, which would bring them to uh, 17, which brings them up one column, or 8, which would give them uh, 12, 20, uh, yeah, 15, 20, which would bring them up two columns. Okay, uh, we could bring up one of these tanks in which would give them 1223, which would again bring them up two columns um, in the attack. Okay. And here there's no first fire because um, all the units are not dug in. Only the heavy machine gun is dug in. So it's an equal attack. I think what we'll do is uh, activate one of these tanks and then the other one will fire at him. So they'll both be fire commands. And the first one will come in to assault and pick up these units to continue the assault. So let's go with this one first. So the Germans, as I said before, is 23. Uh, which lands them on the 18 column. Now, uh, they've got the same morale. They don't have any leaders. Nobody is disrupted, demoralized. So they just stay on the 18 column. Let's see what they get. Roll a 6. It's an M1. So it's morale check 1 on them. So now, for the British, they've got 4. Plus 4 is 8. Leader makes 9. Um, they're halved, so that's 10, 11. Okay. Uh, so actually, I don't think the 
No, they have to. They have to. Sorry. 11. Leader makes it 13. So let's see what they got. 7. That's a miss. So in the end, it's just an M1 on the British. So the captain is 10. Plus 10 on the base. He's okay. We'll do the two infantry regiments. Eight for the first one. Oh, that hurts. So the first one is demoralized. Second one. Whew. 11, 12, wow. Is demoralized. And the dug in heavy machine gun. Uh, he's reduced, so he's seven with a plus one. And he's demoralized. Oh, it's not good. So the leader is okay, but everybody else is demoralized. So they are not in good shape. All right, the other tank was firing, firing it here. So there'll be an 11 with a plus, uh, no pluses. It'll be on the 11 column, but there'll be a minus one for uh, the dug in. So it'll be back to the 7. And they miss. So that's all for the first activation. Second one. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think we've got to go for our other... Rather uh, attack over here because um, we do have a leader. Uh, there have so there'd be three eight uh, plus a leader. Okay, so they've got eight. So they're on the five column. The leader pushes them to the nine column. Uh, enemy is demoralized and they've got a better morale, so they're up to the eighteen column. Roll an 8, and it's M1. Demoralized unit gets a 1. He's on the 1 column. 5, that's a miss. So it's an M1 on the demoralized unit. So he is a 7 down to 6, plus 1 on the dice. 9. So it's 8 plus 1 is 9. He's a, he's a 7, 6. That's 3 more, so he's lost. He's gone. Alright, so another loss, and actually that loses their last initiative over there. Nope. Somehow I knocked out a stack here. Hold on a minute. Uh, uh, just knocked out that stack. Huh. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Okay, so these guys won their fight. So they're going to come back onto the board over here. This will back. And uh, our leader there actually gets a point for uh, participating in that. Okay, so he gets a point. So he's back up with one point for, or actually that's two points, excuse me. Two leadership points for participating in the assault and getting a uh, morale result. Okay, so that's all for the British. Or, excuse me, Italian. On to the British. So with the British, they've got a really tough situation. Um, that's not a big deal now, but they do need to do something to keep these guys from moving. They're, these guys are stuck till their command gets back. So I think it's got to be Captain activating the mortars to fire. It's going to activate um, Actually, both of those units to move as well. Because we're going to move, fire, 
at the aircraft. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Not much they can do. And he's still in range, so he could he could potentially knock out that. We don't want that, so we'll stay there. So it's just going to be those units moving and firing. So we'll take the mortars first. Mortars are going to go straight after these guys. Um, starts on the 8. Self-spotted goes to the 12. Rolls a 5, and that's a miss. And then the units here are going to move. So he's going to go one, two, three. And he'll travel along with them. Now, you could potentially shoot at them. up and down, so just be straight, seven, no, he's not, it's going to let him go. Okay. On the turn, or active, second activation with the Italians, Germans. Now, in this case, the other tanks over here are going to activate. They're going to go right in and attack the Germans by the British leader, Lieutenant Colonel Leader over here. So uh, nobody's dug in, so no first fire. So this is going to be 13 for the Germans. So they start there. No modifiers for morale or anything else. So it's just on the 13. Rolls an 8. It's an M1. Okay, it's an M1. So they fire back with 4, 5. 4 for them, plus 1 for the leaders, 5. 1 shift for the leader, puts them on the 9 column. 8. They miss. So it's just an M1 on the British. Tank calls a nine. Okay. It's okay. The unit is an eight. Up for the leader's bonus two, which is ten, with a plus one on the base. He's okay as well. Okay, but that does tie up that unit. It's up there. Okay, going over to the next British turn. Oh, interesting. I just made a mistake. I uh, made a mistake that the British can capitalize on. The gun up here, one, two, three, four, is in range. He is going to target the tank. Right there. So, four against one. Let's take a look at the AT column. Target move, no. Opportunity fire, no. Uh, dug in, no. Target's hill, higher elevation, no. Range more than five, no. Target opportunity adjacent, river crossing, AT. Okay, so no. So it's a straight comparison. So it's 4, 1. So it's a plus 3 on the British fire. 12. That is a hit. One step loss with a plus 2. Ouch. Uh, forget about that. That was a bad move. Bad, 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 bad. So that's a hit. He takes a hit. The 
tank now has to do a morale check too. Morale check two. He's a eight ten. He disrupts. And that's two points for the that was not good. You're gonna have to get out of there. Uh, I didn't activate him, but that's okay. We'll get him later. Okay, number five. Hmm. All right, gonna have to use the artillery against them. There against there, spotted by the major. So that's going to be eight plus fourteen. Fourteen and eight. That's going to be 22 on the 21 column. It is artillery, so we'll push up to the 30. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, that got him. Huh. That knocked him out. Wow, there goes the 25 pounders. Okay. Um. So now let's see. That hit the whole hex, so they're going to have to do an M2. The open top. Um, ah, this is inter interesting. This is interesting. Let me back this up a second because we have two units in there. We have the Brens, and we have this. They'll take the hit on the Bren, so there's still a loss. The guns will remain, but now there's a M2, everybody else. So M2 on the, on the Lieutenant, seven plus two on the dice, Eight, so he demoralizes. The guns are eight. Um, well the plus two on the base. They're actually okay. Now for leader loss, because there was one unit lost. No leader loss. Alright. So that's interesting because that knocks out another unit. On the British, but the guns are safe for now. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I should have slowed this down a little bit. Here's the dilemma. Because it was on the 21 initially, the shift up was for the artillery, so the artillery is only on the 30, and the um, the lieutenant and the half-track is over here. So the half-track is actually not lost. It was right the first time. It's the gun that's actually lost because it was the gun that took the X. Half rack's okay. The leader still fails his morale check. All right, but the gun is gone. So that's a big, big turn of events for the Germans and Italians. Okay, I think I've got everything right there. Going to the British side. They've got a problem. They have very little to stop the uh, Germans and Italians now. Uh, except closing and attacking. Um, hmm. Wow, to do what to do. Um, 
All right, we've got to try to get points. So I think our character leader here, Lieutenant Wright, is going to order these guys to attack those motorcycles again. It's coming down to the time of getting points. So they're going to be attacking on a slope. He orders both of those, and then these guys have already moved are over there. Two, right there. All right, so there's no first fire. So from the British perspective, they get four, plus four is eight, uh, plus the leader is nine. So they start on the nine column. They do have a leader, shoves them to the 12. They don't have better morale because they've got a reduced unit. Um, they, the character leader does have what's called urban assault, which allows him to, uh, sorry for the glare, um, allows him to shift one more to the 18. Oh, that's a hit. 11. That's a step loss. Let's see what the Italians do. So the Italians, five, eight. They do have a character leader here as well. Um, I don't believe he. I've got to look him up here. Bear with me. Thirteen. I don't believe he has. Uh, he has the. Um, Oh, he does have urban assault. Yep. Oh, no, urban. No, he needs rural assault. No, he doesn't have any extra capabilities. So this will be eight um, plus the leader. Brings him up to the nine column. So he rolls an eight just short. So it's a miss. So I'm going to take a step loss on this guy, because it's got to be the highest morale level. That's one more for the British. And now morale checks. So he is an 8, plus 2 on the dice, 10. He's disrupted, so he demoralizes, so he can't help him. These guys next door to him, they're a 7 with a plus 2. Uh, they're okay. And the last are a six with a plus two. Nine, they're demoralized. All right, so they've actually done some damage here. So there's going to be some points awarded, namely uh, to lead a right. He gets a couple of leadership points. Um, gets two leadership points for a step loss. And then the other leader, which was 12, that was um, Bruno, Tenente Bruno. He's going to lose points. Let's see, he's, he demoralized, so it's going to be minus three. So he goes negative. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Still quite a fight here in the middle of the desert. So, onwards. Uh, fog of war? No fog. Next, we have the Italians. They've got to get these guys going here. Uh, this stack is going to try to activate the move, and they're going to try to recover. Let's take a look here. He's a seven liter. He's an eight liter. He is a unit and a truck. So the seven liter, Capitano, needs a six. Doesn't get it. Tizidente needs an 8 or less. Doesn't get it. 
and that day can help the heavy machine gun. So he goes up to eight, needs a seven, doesn't get it. And the truck is a seven, helps eight. Down one to seven, needs a six. No effect. I think the I think the Italians are starting to starting to fade. I think they're starting to fade. Okay, there we go. Five to one. No fog. Alright. What else we got here? British perspective. Let's try to get this leader back in good shape. Our character leader here. He's an eight. Needs a, uh, it's demoralized. Seven. Needs a six. He doesn't get it. He's got to retreat because these guys can shoot. So, he's got to continue running. One. Uh, two. Three, four. Oh, wait a minute. He can go there. He's still seen, but there. Oh, he's still seen. Yeah, he's got to go all the way back there. Okay. Fog of war. No. Italians again. Next stack to re try to recover. Got another character leader. Unit. Truck. Motorcycle. Character leader is an eight. Demoralized seven needs a six. Doesn't get it. But there's nobody who can shoot at him. The uh, next unit, seven, six, needs a five. Doesn't get it. The truck. Doesn't get it. And the motorcycle. No. Standing pat. I'm afraid they're going to be there for a while. Fog of war. No fog. British. British, British, British. British, uh, try to recover that unit. I don't get it. Fog of war. Okay, the major trying to get this machine gun unit. Seven pushes them up to an eight. Need a seven. We got it. That helps. That helps. No fog of war. Okay, the British have to go for this hex. It's fully demoralized. Try to get some of these units going. We'll start with the infantry. There's seven, eight. That's one seven needs a six. All right, good. Get somebody back. Next to him, six again. Doesn't get it. So he has to leave the hex. Three. Go back. Back this way. Next, uh, he is a two, 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 seven. Demoralized six needs a five. He's got to leave the hex too. So he's out of there. 
All right, let's let's stop. Got one unit holding on in the fog of war. Nothing. Those are the Italians. Italians are stuck. These guys are stuck. These guys are stuck. There, there's one disrupted unit there. Try to recover him. He needs a six and he gets it. Okay, British. Look got all their recoveries taken care of. But I think they're going to pass. Back over to the Germans and Italians. I think the mortars have done their job. They're going to load up. Um, onto the trucks with the captain. And that'll be it. Good. Uh, British. Nothing's changed. Good. And Italians. Got this one tank. He's gonna move two, four. Oh, they could fire twelve. Yeah, might as well. They need a two or a twelve to do anything, but they'll do it. No, they don't get it. Uh, so two, four. And then six, seven into here. I'll take their second shot. Two or twelve. Oh, another seven. Five of war. Nothing. Uh, British. There's nothing more they can do, really. They could try to attack. Them. Just a five, though. Leader. Push of a nine. Yeah, they better try it. So the British are going to activate them to attack. So they'll be four plus one's five. Leader puts them on the nine column. Five. M1. That's good. Firing back is eight. Halved, rounded up, is two. So they're on the ten column. A nine as well. Oh, ouch. Two X. Wow. Okay. So this guy's gone. Two more points. Um, British leader. They've got an M1 coming. Gets a two morale check. Ten, eleven. He is disrupted. Okay. Now leader loss. So that's going to be minus two. So two, three, four. No, nope, he's not. Okay. So now he's a lone leader in the hex. So let's see if he gets captured. Nine or better. He doesn't. So he displaces one hex. I think he's going to jump in the foxhole here to help these guys. That was a close one. Um, nope, I won't take that off yet. These guys have to take an M1. So the full strength armored car. Uh, he's eight with a plus one. Ele Ooh, ouch. He is demoralized. The reduced, he's a seven with a plus one. 
eight. He is demoralized. Ooh. Bit of a fight there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Germans hold the ground, but everybody's damaged, so not sure who the winner of that one is. Okay, uh, let's shift this over here. So, Fog of War. The Italian side. They're passing. And then the uh, uh, British pass as well to end turn 1430. Well, quite the turn. Slowly, everybody's being whittled down. British more than the Italians and Germans. Um, so it's getting interesting here. The British have lost their heavy guns, 25 pounders. Germans have lost some tanks now, which is uh, driving up their losses. And the Italians are just kind of stuck. Um, although they did eliminate one British unit over here um, in the attack. When we come back, we'll go with turn 1645.